Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption, episode 6. Hey, um, we're at the Marshalls, and it is, uh, 6.20 a.m. And before we go to the Marshall, we're gonna go and see what we can get at... What do you want, dude? You a tough guy, mister? I hope so. We gonna have a showdown. How'd you like it? I want it to clean the eyes. Quick with no pain. Okay, I was gonna go to the stores and, uh... Don't worry, I'll close your eyes before anything. You don't know me, mister. I, I slept your duel. I was gonna go to the stores and stuff and get stuff what I need, but... He called me over, he wanted, I thought he wanted something. But, I guess, um, as I see, we're gonna have a showdown. First time, I guess. a general good sewer. Uh, this should be the gunsmith. Hold on. I said gunsmith. Right there. Gunsmith. Let's see if he's open. to the marshal, I guess. Do a mission. See what he has to offer, and then we'll come back and, uh... See what kind of goodies we got in the gun stores. See if we can get, like, a shotgun I don't something. have a clue. Alright, what's gonna be something to do with that government boy? We'll talk to him. Find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Whoa. Oh, my daughter, you fucking scum. Don't Where's know. Bonnie? She was with you. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! <laughs> Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarland! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! This is a nice girl you got there. Get down from there! You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Old government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is a land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. See, I told you they didn't have her. Didn't know where she was. 
What the fuck are you coming at me like that for? I'll teach you some respect for the law. And this? <laughs> Hurry up, boy. Let's oh, go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure you're tied up good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Come on, let's ride hard to tumbleweed. Yeah, if you're wondering why I got this from horse, in case, uh, a large Are you game. happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. Time. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as a cake of diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in cheap clothing, all of them, rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is light in their pockets. Come on. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman D. Williamson, right hand man. In other words, a glorified errand boy. Wait, Marshal. I'll be back for you. Bill standards have slipped. We already filled you with late once. You got the That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not lay a finger on Mr. McFarland. Yeah. What is this place we're headed? Double weed? A lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like deep here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I could ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable, different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and Taft. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubt. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business, neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Been in an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. Then look at Deke here. Go to hell! Man has worked hard at civilization. If your boy steps out of line, you whack him. If he does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal, and I respect what you're trying to do. But what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Which you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. Exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. <laughs> Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. I bet. 
Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. <laughs> Lead Deke into town. We'll be right behind you. You want me to shoot you, friend? All right, I'm moving. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. I hear those rancher girls. You want to die, friend? Move. I'm walking, goddammit. The sooner we all go home. Get these ropes off of me, boys. Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. <laughs> swing too long. Maybe if I use this. Thing coming. Come on. <coughs> 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 He's 
down in here. Where is he? I need it more than you now. somewhere, I think. Or was he up top? Oh, he's over here. No. There's chest up here. I know that. Awesome. Garden mother. All right. Now where's that dude at? another dude around here somewhere. How did they get up there? Up on the roofs. Am I missing something? Let's walk around it, see if I can get up on something. Okay, we're all done. Let's see who we got. Left. Alright, so this is Seth. Wow, look at that, guys. Nineteen ten. That's the year we're in, I guess. Map of the West in the order of states. Okay. 
Alright, so I'm gonna cut this one short and when we come back we will um deal with Seth. See you next time.